Okay, so using this flash cut CNC software on our Kawiki Shop Pro, I want to show you how easy it is to do, uh, you know, personalized items here. So I'm going to do a monogram. I don't have a DXF file, so the first thing I'm going to do is import a silhouette of uh, one that I took off of the internet. It's the letter T. Uh, right now, it's the machine's tracing everything, and that's three inches. So I want to bump that up to 18. and hit apply. So I have my letter, I can move that over towards the, uh, the X and Y. Uh, now I pull in my text. Now you can choose different types of text. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Arial and bold it. And I'll do the last name, Taylor. Uh, this right now is one inch. I think we'll probably have to bump this up to at least two and a half. Um, let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's a good size. I could make it a little bigger, but um, I need to shift it up. So in the on the right here, my Y position, if I bump this up like a tenth of an inch, just right there to make sure it's overlapping, that's perfect. Um, before I weld everything together, you have to explode the text using this explode icon up here or hitting X, and that turns the solid letters into edible lines. Uh, so that's step one. Now that I have that, um, I need to weld it all together. So what you do is the top right corner, you have this weld tool, weld selected entities. I'm gonna click that and select everything. From there, you uh, it tells you select entities and right click to confirm. So I'm gonna right click on one of the red lines and hit the green check mark. That's gonna weld everything together. There you go, so it's all welded together. Um, this line's a little off because I think my T was just off, so I'll just edit that. I don't think it was big enough. Uh, okay, so from here we push it out into CAM, and this is where you generate your toolpath and set your settings. If you're doing uh, an iron sense 18 gauge material, you can go into plasma and change your speeds, your kerf. Um, all this is pretty much set for you with the Shop Pro and the flash cut, so you don't really have to do much here, but you can change between quality or fastest cutting or type in a, a certain speed that you want. So that's pretty much it. In under a minute, you can do uh, personalized wall art. Thanks for watching.